When the NBC News team visited some polling stations in the capital, officials from recognized unions were busy dispatching ballot boxes. What started off at slow pace gained momentum, with more than a thousand civil servants voting at the government office park by 11 o'clock. More than 500 civil servants voted at the parliament, while close to 50 voted at the Komazol constituency office. These are just three of the 16 polling stations in the city. Some civil servants were denied to vote because they were not from the Comas region, but who found themselves here due to studies and medical care, they say. Napu Secretary General Petrus Nevonga informed NBC News that communication was made to all its members that they can only vote in their respective regions because of the payroll verification. This is what some civil servants had to say. Everything is high. The, the petrol is high, the food is high. You see the taxes recently also um, announced that they are going to increase. Give us from our pension fund. Some of us are working 18 years, 20 years. Give us something from there. Hardship normally goes along with this type of decisions. And I believe that as revolutionary workers, we will stand to our decision. No work, no pay is not our concern. So we'll have to live along to that. However, if civil servants vote in favor of the industrial action, government services across the country are expected to be shut down.